What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding. Well, guy, right? Put your notification bells on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, I can say, man, I'm very humbled and I appreciate all the support I'm getting, especially with these Super Norteño videos. My primo said, gracias. Whopping, right? Definitely, man. Um, So trip out. Yesterday, I, I told you guys episode uh, 13 and I told you guys exactly what happened. And a lot of people were left on limbo. They were on hold, right? Damn, gun. how are you going to end it like that? How are you going to end it with fucking Sheila running fucking wild with Southsiders, with your tia with a shotgun and a paisa clamped onto her leg, fucking a lawnmower broken in the front yard, got an asada on the grill burning, and your primo getting fucking shot, right? Well, that's just the way it ended, homes. So that's the way it's got to be. But look, trip out on this. So my primo ends up in the hospital, right? I get a phone call. Hey, man. Your primo's not going to make it. What? Right? Whopping! Right? You know, I'm riding like this because she laying in the back, so I ain't riding like that. I get to the hospital, and yes, man, my primo's in Turlock in the hospital. He's laid out for reals, though, right? And I'm like, damn, what happened? He was had all kinds of breathing tubes in him. He was shot three times, right? And allegedly, man, according to what my tia was saying and what Sheila was saying, was that some guys pulled up in a vehicle, blue pinos, blue rags. They gave him the business. Of course... None of this was reported to the authorities at the time, um, but they were looking. They were looking. My primo fucking was incapacitated. He wasn't able to talk. He wasn't, able, oh, boom, oh, boom. He wasn't able to say nothing, right? Um, so I was feeling bad. So I'd go like every other day, man. You know what I'm saying? I took him some red roses just because I know those would brighten his day, right? I even took him one blue rose in the middle. So I was scared with a whole bunch of fucking red roses surrounding it just to make him feel better about himself. And eventually he came to, man, and he was in a bad way, right? My primo almost lost his life. I make light of it now, and we even joke about it, um, but they got him. So I said, what happened? You know, really whopping? And he was like, man, I was on my way to the store, primo. So I scared that the motherfuckers pulled up on me. It was the same autos, right? I said, well, you know, you're fucking with San Jose, I'm Sao, whether it's north or south, they wiggle, right? So um, he's now doing the wiggle, okay? So my primo, he gets better after a few months. Um, cause he was fucked up. He couldn't walk for a while. He was halfway paralyzed. The Vato Mallard, he was like, I, bring my poster, primo. I literally went to his house and brought his poster so he could look at it, right? Every time I Vato looked at it, I could, I could feel the Norte pride in me, right? My tia went a couple of times. Hey, look at fuck faces up. Mijo, you can still breathe or what? Like, mijo, I, hey, I can't get a lot of rights here. That's why I don't come too much. But Wardo got me. He got me. He said, right now, he's in the concession stand. He's buying me a fuck. You want a soda or what? You know, can he drink soda? Right? She's talking to the doctor. The doctor's like, oh, fuck. My guess. In mid-conversation, Mijo, you scared me to the... Nodding out and shit, right? So my fucking primo, he goes through his shit. I remember we picked him up. We took him to the pad. He was laid out for a little while. But he started to recover. And I already knew the fucking burning fire and heart was in his heart. Because that vault, hey, the socks started getting higher. The Ben Davis started getting lower. Hey, shit was going down. Now, in the midst of this, Sheila was not around too much. The Burger Queen herself. Mugre had not moved on. But just like any other soldado man, when they're falling, they're incapacitated. Their chorda can't get hard. What does she have any business there for, right? So she was staying at her mom's for a little while, which is where the fat bitch should have stood and should now stay, period. But of course, she would come from time to time, cook for him. But like I said, man, she does two things in this world uh, pretty decent. One's fight and cook, right? And I heard him on one too, but I've never experienced it. Allegedly. So anyways, <clears throat> I go over there. I'm like, hey, what's up, primes? You good? You good? You know, trying to just do little things to make him happy. Hey, look, bro, I went to the fucking gas station. I bought you a new red pony. It's crispy as fuck. I'll put him on fucking forever. Treasure this in my heart. Let me put it in my shirt, right? And Vato's all happy. So he's doing good now. You know, I see him in the front yard, fucking watering the grass and shit, wasting straight agua. I remember my dad used to always tell me, mijo, I have to pay the water bill. What do you got on it? I don't know. I haven't been to your house for six months. What the fuck should I have on it? Well, you come over here. You always drink out of a fucking manguera. You don't want to fucking pay? You got to play to pay, fuck face, right? So I try not to go over there as much. So anyways, my primo calls me. Hey, come through, man. Come visit. I feel good. Let's go for a cruise. So I was missing him. I was like, fuck it. Let's go cruising. So he comes up with this big old elaborate scheme. Hey, Primo, I don't really want to get you involved. Plus, you know what I'm saying? What are you? Are you wearing wire? 
Because I know you fucking watch those non acting You guys act, you're different. Hey, watch out. The time has come. I'm like, what? He's like, come on, go sit down for a little while. Primo, I'm going to... I have to double back on him. I have to get my run backs. There's no way I'm going to let him shoot. He'll fucking shoot me. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, calm down, fool. You're going to fucking die of a stroke. You're going to survive the gunshots and die of a stroke. Relax, right? Hey, the Vato would get so upset. We get to his house. The Vato's fucking pacing back and forth like he's in a cell in Pelican Bay, right? And I swear to you, man, Jesus Christ, you're my witness. You know, I'm not Mr. Criminal. I'm for reals, right? Look, trip out on this. This Vato literally started doing the bitterer combustion. He did the Welga Usher move. You ever seen when Usher does it? My primo hit his hands like this and started doing the... Right? He was doing the Welga Usher. And he had it bad. You got it. You got it bad. When you get shot by some Southsiders, then you try to double back. Oh, you got... Right? So the Vato's like fucking, hey, I, I got a plan, but I can't tell you much. But let's just say, hey, if I'm not here, take care of Sheila, my mom. I can't believe... Right? I'm like, calm down. You ain't going to do nothing. Uh, prior to this point, my primo wouldn't put in work unless the work was put in on him and I was there with him, right? So I was like, this father ain't doing nothing. And I definitely ain't doing nothing. Now, I know many of you are saying, damn, gun, you weren't willing to double back with your primo? Fuck no, right? This father got shot on his own accord. I'm not active, homes. That's not me. But I ain't going to let him get jumped or shot in front of me, right? But see, the way my shooting game works is if I don't see it, I ain't doing shit about it, right? So anyways, I took off. So my primo's calling me a couple days later. He's like, hey, primo. I need to borrow one of them things. I said, no, 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 no. Don't get involved. Don't get me involved in your schemes and your bullshit. If you're going to do something, I don't want to know about it. I want to see about it. I don't want to hear about it. I'll hear after the fact, man, and many God's blessings and well, guy, up, right? So anyways, my dear calls me. Hey, mijo, come talk some sense into fuck face number one, because I'm telling you right now, this pendejo, he's walking around and he's got, I don't, an it or he's got something in my house that, Hey, I'm fucking laughing, mijo. Naughty now. You need to come over here and fucking see what's going on. So I'm like, fuck. And the way my dad was laughing, I was like, man, he got something funny going on. This motherfucker's probably walking around butt naked with a house with his Mongolian all bushed out, fucking screaming at the top of his lungs. On the north side, this is how he's done it before, right? So when I pull up, it's very dark in the house. Like they got all the lights off or maybe the fucking electricity was just cut off this month. But I walked in there, my primo got a candle, and he looks like he's doing Santa Muerte. He's fucking over there fucking praying to the Norteño gods, right? And I could see someone sitting there with long curly hair, and I'm like, damn, they forgot a chick right here? Where's fucking, uh, where's Reggie White at, right? And I could hear Sheila in the room. I could smell her before I heard her, but then I heard her after I, like the, the smell and the hearing her collides, right? Whoa, right? So I'm like, what the fuck? And Sheila comes out, and she's like, what's up, right? And I'm like, What's up, primo? And he wakes up from his fucking prayer, right? And he's like, hey, primo, tonight is the night that you make me a woman. I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm not trying to make you a woman. I don't know how that, no, I'm just, I'm just, hey. I said, what you know about that song? Anyway, brother, I ain't big, big tone don't sing that. Davina sings it, puto. I'm like, no, she don't. No, I don't. The last time I checked, that was an oldie, homes. Davina didn't sing tonight is night. For well, fuck it, homes, she did the remix. So this I want to be politically correct. I don't want to get canceled. This person turns around. And by the way the eyeliner shot this way, by the way the fucking mustache went that way, is this a disguise? To what degree is this? My primo said, look, Holmes, this is the homie. This is one of my homeboys. Now, you got to understand, my primo has his own homeboys. To I don't know if he wrote them while they were in prison, pen pals or whatever, but he has his own hint that he fucks with. This wasn't my my cousin's first term in prison that we're going to speak on. He'd been in prison prior, right? But he only hit like two yards and shit like that, dorms. But he had homeboys that he would go trip out on or they would swoop him up, whatever. Like I said, I wasn't always around all the time. He had his own life to live, um, if he lived. And when this motherfucker turned around, this bottle looked like a, a mix of Prince and that one bottle from Compton Body, whatever, that fucking turned into a Heine, right? It was a fucking, uh, 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 it was Caitlyn Jenner, right? This motherfucker turned around and said, oh, no. What's going on here? My primo said, no, 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 weapon. Don't, don't, hey, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Only God can, right? And big tone. I'm like, well, what happened, bro? He's like, look, she's going to help me, eh? What do you mean she? That bitch, that, that bitch got a fucking right. Primo, let me get at you. Come over here, right? Well, weapon, weapon, weapon. Get the fuck over here, right? What is that? I have to see, hey, you see that thing right there? I don't function on yards with that thing. You don't function at all. No, I don't, but, but. I really don't. Now, what is that, bro? He's, no, it's my homeboy's sister or brother that turned to a sister or the sister that still did. I don't know. It's I'm, I still haven't figured it out yet, but hey, she's going to help me set the opposition up. I said, all right, that's enough. 
I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to be part of this, right? So I'm immediately, I'm standing, now, mind you, the door, like I said, sometimes I thought there was no door. It's wide open. And I got one foot, I'm doing the Humpty, the Humpty Dumpty. I got one foot in the house and one foot out because I don't want to ever say that I function at any type of level with this type of person. Now, I've got nothing against that type of community. Let's just get that out of the way right now before people start hating. But you have to understand the situation. It's, it, it, you know, I, my tia's in the back with a paisa nodding out on his chorra. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, pinche fucking piruja. She's biting his shit as she clamps down. You got Sheila stack of grip. She's in the fucking bathroom from the bathroom to the thing. Con un pinche tanga walking around hoping that I look at her ass. Eyes locked, x-ray vision on my chorra. You have my primo praying to the fucking God of fucking Woody. And then you have this, this person sitting there. Like I said, looking like a mix between Rick James and Tina Marie. Fire and desire. All at the same time, right? And I'm like, fuck, hey, right? So my primo's like, hey, primo. I'm like, come out here. Go, yeah, I don't want to go in there. Fool. It's like fucking walking in a bad yard right there, bro. I feel like I have to take flight right when I get here. I got three days to do it. I'm going to do it within three seconds. And so the it's like, hey, how are you doing? I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm doing. Let's go do it out here, primo, right? So he's like, hey, hey, don't fuck with my guests. That's good people right there. That person right there is going to help me, right? All right. Yeah. Look at Primo. If you're starting to turn a different page in your life because you got shot and you rewoke, you, you know what I mean? You're awake now. Um, just let me know, Primo, and I'll make sure that, you know, forever, Holmes, I won't come here anymore. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, Primo, you don't understand. Hey, tell me you didn't think that was a chick when the head was turned. I said, well, the way that the light gleamed off the hair, what light there was off your fucking candle to whatever fucking well bird you're praying to, uh, slightly, but when the motherfucker turned around, Holmes, and he looked like Sergeant Slaughter, going on pinchy fucking, he looked like the Iron Sheik, eh? I'm cool, right? He was like, well, look, if I don't see you again, Primo, it's all love, man, but I'm going to get Vida tonight. And I said, damn, this motherfucker's serious, right? So I left thinking, now he's probably going to there, go in there and in real life, man. I hate to say it, Primo, and I know you're watching, but I still to this day, I don't understand if you did or you didn't. I think he was going to have a threesome with that Chino and Sheila. And like the way Sheila was dressed, it might have already been over. Because I seen a bead of sweat dripping down the fucking Iron Sheik's nose. So just quite, it, quite possibly, my cousin had to pay it like he waited. Whatever. I'm gone, right? I wouldn't put that on his plate. But again, man, hey, sometimes when you're active in activities, the activities are not the activities that I want to be part of, right? That's why I stepped back. So now I'm doing my own thing. So my tia calls me a couple of days later. Oh, mijo! Now I'm mijo all of a sudden. Right? I was fuck faced a few days ago, right? What happened, tia? Cause you need to call your, 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 your fucking cousin. He's locked up, right? So I'm like, fuck, whopping, right? I pull over there. Sheila's crying. My tia's crying. And I make sure before I go in the house, I see the paisa. He's in there cooking fucking huevos. He looks at me. Que paso con un pinche fucking wearing ostrich boots and skin tight ass fucking jean fucking regular jeans, right? Yep, he's there. And but I don't see fucking uh the the the, the Kardashian that isn't anymore, right? So I'm like, okay, cool, what's up, yeah? She says, your primo killed someone. And I was like, no, for reals? Right? So what had happened was this. So my primo's locked up, okay? So he's already on parole, so he catches a violation. So he's in Tracy. By the time I get this phone call. His ass is already in Tracy prison, right? Okay, he's doing a violation. Then they charged him with this case. So I guess he had been in Tracy already for fucking a couple days now. And then they, for a violation, whatever it was, right? And then they charged him with an attempted murder. My tia fucking jumped the gun. Oh, I killed somebody. My fucking son. I can't believe it. You can't? I can't either, actually, because none of his guns work in this house. No, you don't understand me. Well, he said he was crazy. No, he lost it. He lost it, right? And what are you doing here anyways? Motherfucker, right? So I'm like, hey, Tia, you're, you're tripping, right? You, you, need, hey, you need a dime or what? You know, I got you. So fucking, I'm like, Sheila, talk some sense. My Tia's fucking pacing back and forth. She's burning a hole in the rug that already has holes in it, right? And I'm like, what happened? And she was like, him and that fucking Chiru, they went and I guess they fucking, they were this, you know that Chiru sounds like a girl. I was like, no, 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 I don't know, right? I don't know. She said, well, anyways, they got these dudes, fucking got them to a motel and your primo went in and shot three dudes. Allegedly. I'm saying, no. She said, yes. I said, oh. I said, Sheila. She said, what? I said, stop looking at my chora. She said, no. I said, yes. Right? So anyways, we're having this conversation. So I'm like, damn, man. I can't visit him. Does he call? She says, yeah. He fucking, um, he's going to try to call. But they're going to take him back to the county jail because they recharged him. Right? So I'm like, all right, cool. So when he, when he calls, man, call me three-way. Let's figure it out. 
So I go home, I'm telling my old lady, damn, my primo's locked up. And I'm fucking hurt because I'm thinking maybe I should have went with him to prevent this shit. But I didn't think he was going to do nothing. You got to understand, he's a lot of rah-rah. There's a lot of talk that goes on in that household. Hey, if it was up to him, there'd be a South Sider dead every day, right? So it's it's always like, like he'd be dreaming about it. <laughs> He'll wake up out of nightmare. Hey, primo, fuck it. I just had a nightmare. What happened, fool? Fucking the South Sider hit me. Fuck it. Right? I fucking killed him, eh? Right? It's always something. Always. But nothing ever happens, right? And I'm not going to say he don't put in his work because we're going to get to stories where he was smacking motherfuckers. Fool went on a rampage. When he got shot, this motherfucker went, did his term, came out, and was still rampaged up. Hey, he was like fucking Forrest Gump. Once he took off running, he didn't. He fucking kept running for a few years. That's how my primo was. He got shot, he just kept on going. So anyways, he fights his case, right? I talked to him, what happened, primo? He says, yeah, fool, I used that fucking tranny to fucking lure these bottles. Boom, 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 me and the tranny are locked up. Where's the tranny? I don't know where they took him or her or her or him, right? So I'm like, damn. Anyways, my primo gets a separate trial, fucking takes the deal, ends up getting five years, right? Boom. Sitting down for the five years, man. People are sending them packages. I'm sending them packages. We're taking care of them the best we can. I'm, I'll tell you right now, that motherfucker got more feria, more TVs, more fucking Super 8s, more all that, more CL20s than I ever got while I was in prison. You know what I mean? Hey, that about the should have been, just to learn his lesson, I should have made him wash calzones in there. But instead, my tia somehow is getting the vices to send him money. Hey, Sheila's going to visit him. I took her a few times to go visit him, right? I had to get off the prison grounds because I couldn't be there. And uh, I would leave her there to fucking try, uh, try to jack him off in the visiting room. She ends up getting ultimately kicked out because fucking his finger's in her butthole, right? He thought she was Wes Watson. So anyways, look, my primo gets out. I remember the day he gets out. We throw him a big old party in Monterey at my family's house. It was cracking. There was a gang of people there. Gang of familia. No homeboys and shit like that. Hey, Vato was like, hey, hey, primo, send me a parole package, right? Put a red fonio in it. I said, can't send you a fucking red fonio. You're going to violate parole for you even get out, stupid. Well, at least send me red shoes. Red shoes, primo, please. I fucking beg. I fucking... And I'm like, this fool didn't learn, right? So when he, when he gets out, man, my primo has like all this scarring in the back. And I'm like, what, where did he parole from? He paroled in good standings, allegedly, right? Supposedly. And I'm like, hey, primos. And he gets out of Pleasant Valley. And I'm like, hey, bro, what, ha what happened? You know, were you good in there? He said, bro, he said, as soon as I got in there, first South Sider, I seen a rush. Got out, I rushed again, right? I said, oh, you was on a 50-50 yard or something, S&Y or something. There was no way the homies were letting that happen. He goes, nah, bro, they didn't send me right there first. They tried to fucking send me to something. They fucking tried to end my career. Fuck that, right? Now, my primo's stupid enough to do this type of shit. So I already know what it was. Plus, the attitude he had is when he got shot, he was going to fucking kill someone for every fucking bullet hole that he got, Right? Um, that was the way that his thinking was. That was his mentality. Okay. Meanwhile, he's asking me questions that I have no answers for. Hey, primo, did she hold it down for me? Did she hold it down? She's still here, eh? That one guy like that she was. Look at, bro. Hey, she, her uterus is probably at this point non-existent, but she's still here, primos. And you got to fucking commend her for that. He was like, oh, fucking bitch. It was all because of her, right? I said, I know. Hey, let's not think about history. Let's think about the mystery of what the fuck. I still have a question. What were you doing in a house with that fuck? Those though, because I couldn't get no chicks to set up. She didn't want to do it because they were her fucking homies, right? I was like, bro, how are you going to get a man to sound like a woman? You Come on, there was a look in your eye. No, there wasn't no look in my eye. There was a look in your eye when I walked in there. You were praying to fucking, hey, fuck me. No, fuck you. And then you were over there with fucking some chirua. I don't know what you're into, primo, um, but I still haven't forgot about it. And that's why I only sent you $10 a month because at this point, I was wondering if I should even still be allegedly a part of the familia, man. It was for reals, man. I figure I dropped out of the North Dam and I dropped out of this family too because this shit is too much. He's like, no, I promise I didn't do nothing. I promise. Primo, look, my hands are clean. No hair on them. No hairy palms, right? He was like, but I ain't even allowed in that motherfucker. Jack, all right. We don't need to know. I know. I've been there. I've done that, right? So anyways, my primo put in his work, man. Um, he ends up getting ultimately convicted. One of the guys that he ends up shooting, I guess, was one of the guys he says shot him. I don't know. You know, he could just been imagining shit again. You got to understand my cousin has optical illusions. Sometimes he thinks bottles are there that ain't there. You want to hear ghost stories? That motherfucker right there could tell you a ghost story. <laughs> fucking, there was a fucking, I could have sworn it was Mr. Capone. It was fucking Mr. Capone. How do, how do you know? He fucking, he was right in the camera. He was going, ah, la, 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 la. nah, well, maybe, you know, I don't know, bro. But hey. We're going to get to the story tomorrow about his vendetta and how he was stalking Southern California rappers and they didn't even know it. Hey, there's a Southern, a particular Southern California rapper right now that's fucking out there, Chicano rap, right? That doesn't even know that my primo had a foot was throwing darts at him on his wall. There's all kinds of holes to this day. Facts. Anyways, my primo, he did his time. He got out active. 
Um, I remember the homeboys were like, hey, Alpha was in there wilding out, bro, putting in that work. Then they shot him back up north to Pleasant Valley. He did his time. He's a good homeboy, right? And, uh, you know, I've always recognized, because I used to be nervous for my primo. Like when I'd hear he's locked up, my tia's like, your fucking fuck face number one guy locked up again. I don't know what, it, there's nowhere to go, mijo. What's he locked up for? Chasing fucking turkeys around and fucking them? I'm like, that would be shit. That would be crazy, huh? Right? She's like, I don't know what the fuck he is. Famero, yeah. He is one, right? This motherfucker, right? I used to always be nervous. Like, damn, he's going to get locked up. I, same way I felt about my brother. You know, when you've been through it, you've been locked up from a youth like I was. You know, and you've been through some hardships, some struggle. You know, some fucking guerra, some real shit. Stabbed, battery packed, hit with rocks, fucking cracked in the, you know, snaked on, all that. Jumped on. Um, you don't want nothing like that to happen to your family. Especially like to someone like my cousin that was was not born with a silver spoon. That about was born with a fucking silver spoon, but it was bent. You know, he was... He didn't have, you know, you got to understand, man, to understand my cousin and his plight, when he was born for the next six months, he was that small, like a peanut. They, he slept in a fucking shoebox. That's how small he was, right? Um, he wasn't born with the same opportunities that we have. You know, I, I, I clown, I have a good time, but I'll never let no one disrespect my primo in front of me. That's just what's not ever going to fucking happen. Well, hey, in that case, we will catch a case together. That's just a fact, right? Um, but with that being said, we're going to get to some fucking amazing stories the rest of this week. Oh, man, you think Sheila fucking didn't get it? One time, she got it, right? And I'm going to explain it to you guys later. So with that being said, man, let's just say my primo got his run backs, man. Southsiders never came back to the house. I was surprised. Maybe he did hit the right one. One never knows, right? But I remember he said, hey, I'm like your brother. For I'm like your brother. What? I'm fucking down, fools, man. I handle business. I said, calm down, bro. It ain't that serious. What do you want? Fucking a brownie with some brownie points? I'll fucking put the red icing on Norte, right? My primo is definitely super Norteño, man, in a real fashion. And we've only just begun, man. I'm going to tell you guys stories that are going to blow your fucking mind. You're not going to be able to believe it. But best believe it, because it's believable. With that being said, I'll touch you move with a purpose. Get every single thing that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive to struggle, the struggle to strive. I'm going to continue to do what I do, man. And let's tell my stories. Have a good time while doing it, man. Enlighten people and give you the knowledge you can't get in college. And hope and recognize that I'm not trying to glorify gangbanging and all that. It just is what it is, man. If you come from a Mexican familia, Northern or Southern California, you could recognize and everybody has a prima that's just a little bit not there and a fat fucking prima that's just a little, I call her prima, but she's not. She's actually at this point, she should just be that fucking fat piruja, but, and she is that too. But it is what it is. The Burger Queen, Mugre herself, and then a tia that just don't give a fuck, right? Mejo, come here. Bring my fan because my shit is, exa I need to fan my shit that way towards fucking Reggie Wright's room. Mejo, you, do you want to hold it? No, no, because I don't want to see it. I don't act like you never see my pussy before. I walk around my house just having it my way. They should call me the Burger Queen. That's just how it is. With that being said, thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people. And I know you guys are asking your, yourselves this. Why did your cousin get a chiruhu to do that? He's never answered the question fully to me. Oh, he's a fucking knack. Bang, bang.